argue he is the greatest welterweight champion in UFC history, even if he does not make the walk as such here tonight. The Nigerian nightmare, Kamaru Usman, chasing further greatness under the lights tonight. Just chasing greatness. He's done that time and time again. This guy's profile continues to evolve from becoming the welterweight champion of the world to passing George St. Pierre in the welterweight rankings to being a star in movies with speaking roles. Yeah. The guy is doing everything. But ultimately, in order to do all that, he's got to win. He's got to win tonight, and he has won on many occasions. How does he bounce back from that loss to Leon Edwards? It's time to find out. You're exactly right. And in the aftermath of that Edwards result at UFC 278, he seemed to handle things pretty well. But obviously, that clock is about to start, and all eyes are going to be on the former champ, Kamaru Usman. Well, we have seen a lot of fighters expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pajeda not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pajeda, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. Let's keep it up. He is ready to go. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC welterweight Champion, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC middleweight champion of the world, Alex Poetai. The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. Great. Good. Right, early round action here. Let's see how soon Kamal Usman chooses to shoot. He talked to us a lot midweek about his jab and his overall improvements when it comes to his boxing game. So perhaps that's just pre-fight hyperbole, but midweek he talked like a man who wanted to box more than he wanted to wrestle here tonight. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. 
All right, nice job by the wrestler to engage in the clinch here. Very early in the fight with this kickboxer, he said he didn't want to recklessly chase takedowns from the center of the octagon, so we'll see what he does here in the clinch. These are safe takedowns. Once you get chest to chest, you can start to trip. You can start to manipulate your opponent by moving him in ways and in directions that they don't recognize. This kickboxer is high level, but he is not high level from fighting in this clinch position. Oh, misses with the jab. Usman goes for the takedown, unable to land. One of the better takedown artists out there. Nothing doing on that attack. Now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Hand there. Oh, his wrestling has been a great equalizer thus far in his UFC career and gets the single leg takedown. And you know that it's his shot. It's his shot of choice. A single leg takedown, and he's securing it, and he's doing it and scoring it over and over. Usman's in half guard now. Midway through round one. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Oh, he's got his back. Oh, right into mouth. He's got to be careful here. Oh, big elbow. Nicely done. Triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. He's going for the choke. This arm triangle is looking pretty tight. He's got it locked in. He's got to clear the guard, drop his chest, and get the finish. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Under two minutes here to go in round one. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Usman's back in full now. This is a terrible position. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Big ground and pound. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand up. Get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight your hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control. Because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free. So you have more freedom to use yours. Good work from the top here by Houston. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. 15 seconds remain in the round. Posture's up now and lands a strong five minutes down. All right, so that round is in the books. Usman's bleeding pretty bad from the forehead here. Hopefully the cut man can nip that in the bud and make sure that that blood doesn't trickle down into his eyes as the next round begins. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. 
they don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Ready to fight. Ready. Go. Here we are, early round two. Lands. Lands a nice leg kick. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. has got full mount now. Nice positional control here. It looks like some swelling is forming after that ground and pound strike lands. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. While well, landing several strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent. Good work here by Kamaru Usman. Ooh, arm triangles in tight. It's getting in very tight. Submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Oh, he lands another pinpoint strike there and no surprise to see the swelling upstairs get worse. That accuracy, man, it's something to behold. This guy is so good at finding his target. Now, he's got a big old marker on the guy's face to try and hit. You have got a smart fight in front of you. You have got to move your head or he's gonna keep going there. Usman's in half guard. Print the shirts. Ground and pound. Oh, when you get in a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it, that's what you need to do. Master class in changing position. Unreal to see. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Kamaru Usman. He's got to be careful here. Work. I'm going to stand this up. Usman's right back to the full mount here. Well, no surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues to target that swelling upstairs. Targeting that swollen eye, getting back after him, making him work, and recognizing like, hey, this is my path. It's working, I'm gonna stay on. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just gotta move. Seconds to go in this one. Be way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Get your hips back. Move your hips. 
This is where he wants to be. Final seconds of the round. Nice shots landing from the top position. Good run. Stop. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round under up. His opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. But you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Ooh. Nice leg kick. Takedown defense holds up. And now some distance as they pull apart. as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start... Oh! This could do it. You heard him back. His misses are out of time. Oh, great, great level change there. He passes to half guard. Quick hit movement there, and he does indeed get back to his feet. Nicely done. Trading gonna be the last man standing. Everything's landing perfect. Keep that Lands the low kick. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, the biggest shot that he's landed all night. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already. And DC, I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's going to set it up again? I am certain he's going to try and set that up again. Expect it to come off with a left hook because off the left hook, you don't anticipate the next punch coming right up the middle. He's real good at trying to find that shot. He needs to better move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Well, you know he's tougher than I am, right? But this man has absorbed so much damage upstairs that I wouldn't be surprised to see the referee call in the doctor at some point. Well, at some point, you got to take a look at him. He's so bruised. He's so battered. He's so swollen. And credit to his opponent for finding a route to victory and staying on that. He has dominated this fight. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys turning out a lot of damage, and... Neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. And there you go, again, half guard. The ground strikes starting to pile up. Usman's eye is closing up. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Side control now. Right to the neon belly. Gains great posture and starts raining down punches. If his opponent does not move, this fight is going to be stopped. Now he's going full mount. Put 
Pineda's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get all the way down to his opponent's neck to try to choke him out and finish the fight. It's Bridget. Oh, no way he got out. He was able to create enough space to get his chest back flat on the mat and defend that arm triangle. Unbelievable. Final seconds of round three. Get up, get up. He's having his way with him here. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Usman. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, mercifully, that is it for the round. And Pineda's eye starting to look pretty bad. He absorbed a lot of damage over those five minutes. We'll see if the cut man can do anything about that. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much. And if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in Good terms fight. of his defenses. Great. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five minute rounds. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. They got checked. He's got that single collar tie. Immediately gets the underhook. Nice. Nicely done. Well, he is really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of swelling there on his opponent. You gotta address this now, because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not gonna let, let you off the hook. You've gotta move, you gotta change something to try to turn him. shot there. He's got to be careful to not allow the offense to follow up here. Pineda's eye is really not looking good right now, Daniel. Starting to swell shut, and that is going to compromise his vision as this fight continues. Oh, postures up and now goes with the big strike to the body. Well done there by Kamaru Usman. Changing the position. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Usman. Oh, he's going triangle here. Oh, he's advancing. How in the world did he escape that submission? And he is back up to his feet. Closes the gap and gets the single collar tie now. Back to the overhand right. Not there. Still plenty of time with which to work here round four. His eye is officially swollen shut. The referee keeping a close eye on things. Maybe he'll call for the ringside position, but that condition is only going to get worse as this fight continues. He's got to be careful here. Lands the grounded pound strike here. All right, so he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really started to become a factor, champ. The swelling started to become a factor. This guy is so good at recognizing a weakness in his opponent. He got him hurt. He got him swollen a little bit, and now it's starting to pay dividends. Well, the grounded pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Usman. Hard ground and pound strike there. I believe that one opened him up. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Full side control now. Oh. 
Usman's back to the side control now. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Takes his back now. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Pareda's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Usman. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Usman's in half court. Massive target on the side of his face with all that swelling. And his opponent smartly continues to attack him. It looks like the referee is going to call in the position to take a look. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Usman. Get them out here. Oh, he got this oh! You cannot sit in this position. The referee will have no choice but to stop the fight. Ten seconds to go in round four. Usman's trying to lock up on a submission now. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, that is it for that round, and Pareda's eye may not recover, folks. You can see the visible damage. It is nearly completely swollen shot at this point in time. Referee is watching things closely. I wouldn't be surprised, candidly, if the doctor stops the fight here between rounds. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. He's doing a real good job with his jab right now. Oh, nice takedown defense. Nice punch from the clinch by Pereira. Oh, is that a massive he needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space for the... How good is this? Both men going for the finish. Well, no denying that he walked in, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad. Oh! Oh, lands a hip toss to get him down. That can't feel good. Well, we know you fans out there generally don't like premature stoppages, but I'm not sure this would be premature. I mean, his face is essentially shut closed at this point in the fight. He's just been beat up. He's been outclassed. He's been outworked. He's been outsmarted. His opponent has just been better. He's been better in every aspect of fighting, and it's showing in all the swelling that is on his face. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Good work from the top here by Kamaru. He's going to start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. Oh, it looks like he's got the sub locked in. Oh, I don't know. This arm triangle looking pretty tight now. It's a fight now. Who's going to win this position? Fight IQ on full display there. Recognizing he was losing the sub. Elected to keep the dominant position. And busy as he looks to improve position here. He's doing a great job of recognizing that he's damaging his opponent. And he keeps going to that spot. Nice body shot. Oh, the hook lands. And he blocks.
blocks the shot there. Incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the heart on either side, that question was answered to nothing. There are no more questions in regards to these two fighters. Both of these men have been hurt. Both of these men are swollen. They're bloody. They're both, even though, though they're both willing and ready to continue this fight. Great submission defense on this play tonight. All right, well, the local hospital might be busy later tonight. What an absolute war this has been. The Cup men have done a pretty good job, but both guys are leaking in the face. Of yeah, they're working full. <laughs> they're working full tonight. I mean, the Cut men are having to try to piece these two together after every single oh, what a shot there on the inside. He's hooked out. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Nice transition. He's got a flat on his back. One minute to go in the fight. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Another ground and pound strike lands. Pereira's in half guard now. There it is. Now he's going to mount. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Usman. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Carlos. What a fight! 25 minutes turned in. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. For the winner by unanimous decision, Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare. All right, so judges' scorecards are needed, they are rendered, and they go to Kamaru Usman, your winner tonight by decision.